This is the Ozark Trail tabletop stove. It's 8,000 BTU. It is not propane. propane. It's butane. Butane gets hotter. In case you do not know, butane gets hotter than a propane. You know, but the only downside is butane does not burn as good if you're like 32 degrees and below. Propane burns better. But, but but don't get me wrong, propane will burn, but butane burns better in cold month, winter months, 32 or below. But 32 above, butane is the way to go. It burns hotter than propane in the canisters. Now this is the uh, <clears throat> Ozark Trail one burner tabletop. And I'm telling you, it comes like this with the burner, with the burner upside down, just like this. And it comes in this little suitcase. All you do is unlatch it right here and it opens up like it folds apart opens up like a regular little small suitcase. They're 20 to $24 at Walmart. I bought mine on for $19.99. All you do is take your burner. It comes with it turned this way. You just flip it over. There's your burner. This is your burner uh, rack. It goes on top just like that. Just flip it over. And let me tell you, you can cook with this thing. It cooks really good. Over, over here is where you open it up, put your canister to unlatch this right here. All you do is turn this right here. Watch this, and that will pop. Turn this straight up, and it will release this uh, butane canister. See there? I turned it straight up. It made it, it came loose right here. You go. Just move it, and here it is. This is like two dollars and forty nine cents. Two twenty nine to two forty nine at Walmart, and uh, this will last a long time. Seven point eight ounces, and uh, I like this Ozark Trail four in one. That's perfect for hiking. The small camp stove, I read, I've already did a review on that, so we won't go over that. And with this one, you can use propane or butane. And it comes, if you're going to use propane, it comes with a little propane adapter in this little black bag. Ozark Trail 4 in 1. And then also, right here, this is this little can, uh, container right here is butane protein, propane mix. The reason they mix them because it burns better in the winter. The butane, if you got a little propane in it, if it's below 32 degrees. But like I said, if you just get plant, uh, just butane by itself, <clears throat> gas, butane, it burns hotter. And it's just as cheap as propane. A lot of people says it's not, but if you look around, this is like 229 to 249 at Walmart, 269 sometimes some places. So I bought two for like two for five dollars. You can't beat that with a stick. So it's cheap. To place it in here, all you do on this canister, you have a little bitty notch. See that little slit right there? You want that to be up, up towards you, up towards the top of the stove. It's a little slit in this butane canister. And this looks like a little uh, spray paint can, 229 to 249. Just put it in there with the little slit straight up. I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do this one hand. Slide that right in there. You see that little uh, piece right there, that metal piece, that little injector, it goes straight like this straight in there easy peasy and once you got it straight up like this let me show you something all you do is take this right here and push straight down it locks that can into place you ready let's do it see there can's locked into place easy peasy just push that down now let's start it up look how easy it starts you ready one click is all it takes i didn't click it uh, far enough and if you want to release the can just pull it straight all the way back up and it automatically ejects the can so let's put it back let's uh pull it back down to pull it back down watch this just push straight back down there you go it's in, it's in place again let's start this stove one click see there all right went all the way out i'll turn it too far turn it off see to get a slow a small flame all the way to the right to get a high flame all the way to the left and this little boiler that i use camping and hiking it's too small, so it can go right in the center. We can still use it right there, see it? But I don't know if I'm going to use it. See, the flames goes, it fits down inside the burner, the rack here, because it's a little too small. I could use that or I could use a big boiler. So I think what I'm going to do is still just use this, because I really don't think it's good to set it all the way down on the burner, like that. So what we're going to do is use this boiler, this small aluminum boiler. We're going to boil some coffee. Let's do it. I use Deer Park spring water. I got a gallon here, almost a gallon. It's close to a gallon. Or I use uh, Cumberland Gap. Let's pour some in here. I just want one cup, so we don't need a lot of water. 
All right. We've got my Deer Park spring water in here. Let's place it on the burner. And you can fry an egg in a small skillet or regular size skillet. This thing cooks really well. 8,000 BTU is all you need. Now you could set this all the way down in the center, like I showed you, but I prefer not to sit it all the way down on the burner. So that's why I've got it in the boiler. But you could if you wanted to, and it would not hurt it. Now we will set that right there. And if you've got a lid, go ahead and place the lid on there. If you want to, if you don't, don't worry about it. Let's go ahead and turn it wide open. Let's see, let's see how fast it takes to boil water with this thing completely turned all the way on high. It shouldn't take long at all because that's a big burner, just like a stove. If you want it to get hot quicker, just go ahead and place the lid on it. We'll do that. That's hot. She is hot. Look at her. But this thing is built fairly sturdy, you know, stained metal. But what I, what I would like to say, it doesn't matter if you buy Ozark Trail or, or Coleman. Now, unless you're spending a lot, a lot of money, even the Coleman, the Coleman one burner tabletop uh, stoves like this, they're made in China. So is Ozark Trail. They come from the camp, same company. I'll be willing to bet you. They're made in China. And the Coleman's going to run you about 30 and you can get this in $20, $19.99 to $24. Now they had it on <clears throat> on sale for $19.99. That's $24 at Walmart. You cannot beat this. This is Ozark, Ozark Trail one burner tabletop stove. And I mean, it's really good. Like I said, it comes in this little case. It does the job and it does it really good. 8,000 BTU. And like I said, butane burns hotter than just regular propane. Felt it's already boiling. What, took about a minute and a half? God almighty. Yeah, let's turn that off. It didn't even take it. About a, 80 seconds to boil. Let's go ahead and turn her off. To turn it off, turn it off. You don't have, turn it all the way to the right. You don't, you don't want to turn it where that uh, uh, that open circle will disengage that canister. You're looking about 80 seconds to 90 seconds to get boiling water. If I'm camping, I care. Uh, this is the best instant coffee I have found. Juan Valdez at Walmart. Very good. It's from Columbia. It's Colombian Drage from Columbia, South America. You know, from the Colombian coffee growers, it's better than Taster's Choice. It's like five, it was 450 for the pandemic, now it's like 550, it's went up. So let's drink that coffee. When I'm going somewhere in my car, doing my YouTube videos, I carry Lando Lakes, cause that's real cream and Domino sugar. 50% of the time I drink my coffee black. The other 50% of the time I like to put a little cream and sugar. I've already got my water in my coffee cup that I use when I'm hiking and camping. Move this to the side. Let's sort of reach in here with a tablespoon teaspoon of it. That's actually a tablespoon. I only use about a half. A little over half, maybe. I don't like it too strong, because a little bit more. So over, uh, a rounded teaspoon would be perfect. There you go. You don't, I don't like it real strong, really strong, my coffee. I like it medium. After I put my one pack of Domino's in there, I put one, uh, little small cup of Half and half, Lando Lake Streamer, the best streamer you can buy. Well, in case you're wondering why I did not do the review inside my house, inside my apartment, I have a seven-year-old daughter. I have a seven-year-old daughter who's autistic, and she can get very loud sometimes. I don't know if you know anything about autism. Let's let's check his coffee out. Oh, man, you got a good cup of coffee. And I like to drink it black, too. So you cannot beat this. Ozark Trail, one, uh, single burner. Tabletop stove for $20 at Walmart, $20 to $24. You cannot beat that with a stick. Two canisters of butane. Pull that can pull it straight up like that. Butane, two, two twenty-nine to two forty-nine a canister. I bought two for five dollars. Because you can't beat this with a stick. You can get a bunch of use out of it. So twenty dollars for the stove, and I bought me two cans of a butane. So tax and all, I've got like twenty-seven dollars in this stove, and I'm ready to go. Perfect for camping. And if you want a, a perfect stove for hiking, the Ozark Trail 4-in-1 Camp Stove, single burner. All right, thanks for watching my review of the Ozark Trail, single burner, tabletop, stove. Perfect for camping or picnics in the park. Put it on the table somewhere. It's convenient, it's portable, it's inexpensive. The best portable single burner tabletop stove for 20 bucks. You can't beat that with a stick. Thanks for watching my review of it. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Leave your comments. First time watching, please subscribe. I love everybody, my friends and my viewers. Be happy, be positive, be focused, stay away from negative people. Always try to do the right thing, my friends, always. 
I've got my cup, cup of coffee back there. Uh, leave those comments down below. What do you like it? Do you like what do you like about this? I love it. I really love this stove. It's lightweight, portable, convenient, and cheap. Sturdy built for 20 bucks. You can't beat it. It's decently built. Quality is decent. It's something that will, should last a long time. I had another one just like this, but it was the Coleman. I gave it away to a homeless person about three, uh, two and a half years ago, so that's why I, I don't have the Coleman anymore. So I've got those Ark Trail for 20. You can't beat it with a stick. Thanks for watching, my friends. It means a lot to me. Love everybody. Have a wonderful night. I will see you all on down the road in the next video. I love to drink that coffee, coffee. I love to drink that coffee.